Don't say I'm just damn. <laughs> okay, this is hypothetically. That's a long list. That's a long list. <laughs> Biggest secret kept from each other. <laughs> just because of that. Well, I mean that plays a really big yeah. part. <laughs> Next question. Hey guys, I'm Kaylee. And I'm Yelani. And today we're gonna be doing just questions and answering them. So a QA. I asked on my Instagram, Kaylee Alon for some questions that you have for me and my mom and I screenshotted them. I posted that a couple days ago, so I just have the ones that I screenshotted because there was a lot, but thank you guys so much for your response. And also, I'm sorry about our dogs, they're freaking crazy. If you guys are new here, this one is Kami. Her name's Kimora. She's my little chicken nugget. And then this one's my big chicken tender. Um, this is Kiara. Hey, she, look at this. She uh, does not stay here. still. But this is, I'm her mommy. <laughs> I'm her mommy, I'm her sister. And then Cooper, I also picked him out, but it's not technically mine, so I'm his sister too, but you know how I feel about brothers. Um, don't say I'm just, damn, <laughs> that hurt. I'm, you know, yeah, yeah. Look. You know, wow. Wow, oh, glass, glass it, glass it. Bye. Sit. No, glass of pistola tu tiene ahí. Pistola. Sit. Kiara, you can't be here. You have to sit. Yes. Come on, sit. Can we do this video? Sit. She's, She's gonna, gonna go. go. Oh, oh. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> Stay up there. Stay up there. You're a freaking horse. Oh my god. Guys, we've never had that big of a dog. Like, <laughs> I honestly, she might not look big in the camera, but like, trust me, in person, <laughs> this thing is like a giant. <laughs> He's so big. And she's giant. And yeah. I literally thought Cooper was big. And she's crazy. Yeah, Cooper is the Like, big. compared to Kamara. Like, when we first got her, she was literally so tiny. Like, tinier than Kamara. Why did I just hit her? Yeah. I love my babies. Kamara's my favorite. Kamara worked with me every she's single She's just, day. like, so cute and soft and cuddly. This one I can't even cuddle with. Guys, when she's calm and I cuddle with her, this is my favorite. Cause she feels just like a person. Like, People say, why you don't bring it to grooming? I comb her hair every single day. Her hair is like that. But it's pretty like this. I love it. I we wish, need to take some out of her eye. That's yeah, I wish Kami, oh my God. I wish Kami has her hair because Kami has a difficult hair like mine. Kami needs the keratin. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start asking. First is, how do y'all have such a close bond? Because she's not strict. <laughs> Just because of that? Well, I mean, that plays a really big yeah, part. When I a know. parent is strict yes. and you can't tell them anything, obviously there's going to be some separation in your life than theirs because you can't tell them anything. You can't really do anything with them. I that, so. You know? Yeah. So I'm agree. Yeah, yeah, so that's a big part. And that makes us have a good bond because my mom is chill and I can tell her anything. Obviously, she might not agree with some things, no, but yeah. like I could still tell her and she'll give me advice. Or she'll just be like, don't do that, or don't do that again. But I think it's normal. Doesn't mean, the things that she tell me, doesn't mean that I'm gonna like it, all of them. But, but we're the teenagers, that, yeah. we're growing up, you learn things, you make mistakes, all that. When I want to grow up, I want to be just like my mom, like chill, where my, uh, where my sons or daughters can talk to me and about anything. Even if I don't like it, I'll give them advice, and I'll, I mean... You can do what you want, but I'm just going to yeah. give you advice and that's it. That's what I say. After my advice, they can do whatever they want, but you know, sometimes they need to learn by their own. Yeah. By their own. I don't know if you say it like that, but they need to learn. Sometimes I can prevent everything that they're going to do. do, you know? She say, say I get like, okay, this is hypothetically, if I get drunk at a party. She would rather me call her and like oh, to pick me up than drive. Like stuff like that. Like she would rather me tell her. And I have the confidence to tell her. If I'm in a situation like that, I call her. I might get in a little bit of trouble or something like that. But I know she's not going to like ground me for but like three months. But I prefer she call me and say, Mama, I drink or something. Pick me up that drive and has an accident. Which Kill makes someone, it worse. Make it DUI. You no. can get hurt. And you get hurt day. another people. Yeah. And your life is ruined. Yeah, too. A, especially the ruined DUI. Another life. Yeah. yeah. Even with Kevin and Kendrick, in general, I have a great connection with all of them. And 
All Sorry. of them talk about everything, about everything with me. Yeah, so that's good. That's how we have a close bond. Yeah. All right. That's the keys. Biggest secret kept from each other. <laughs> oh, but if it's a secret, you honestly know everything. Like I that's what I say. I don't think, and she knows a lot of things because. What's the biggest secret you kept from me? I don't think I keep anything. Like I always talk about my. Also, when I was younger, everything that happened with my boyfriends and all that, because when she was in a situation, I want to explain that she's not the only one. And I say everything, things that happened to me, I don't think I have a big secret. I... It's crazy to think that you really don't know who your parents are, if that makes sense. Like, you weren't born when they were like a teenager, so like, you never, you don't know how they And you're gonna know what they tell you, what they did, but you really Yeah, but don't I don't know, know anything. Yeah, yeah I, I know, know what they tell me, but like, I don't know anything don't about know. their life. That's crazy to think, like the person who like birthed me, I don't know anything about you really. Obviously, well, the, the years that I lived with you, but like before that, no. you were just a stranger. I don't know I who know, you are. But you know a lot of things about me. Well, yeah, I know. Because we I, talk about yeah, I know, but like the little things, it's like different than knowing you. you I know, know I, mean? I know. It's weird thinking about that. Okay. Have you guys ever planned on quitting YouTube? Sometimes. Sometimes yes. we genuinely do. Tired. Drain. Like, it's draining. A lot of you guys may think, oh my god, this is the easiest thing ever. Like, I literally thought that. Me, when I was younger and I looked at YouTubers, I'm like, oh my god, I wish I was that. I wish I was doing that. I wish I was doing this. It's draining, guys. And especially doing it since such a young age. All the hate that comes from it. Like, like I could just imagine the difference my life would be if I never started this. How more secure I would feel in myself. I think so. All of that because ever since I was young, I was getting hate comments, and now I see myself as that. Um, they don't really bother me anymore, but like it definitely like made me view myself and life like really differently. Got me, baby. Don't. Yeah. And yeah, just a lot of it. Some days I'm tired, and I just have to keep doing it. Like sometimes I just don't want to do it anymore because it takes not a lot of time. Like yeah, it takes a lot of time, but it's just like. A lot of responsibility, I guess you can say, of keeping up. And a lot of people are like, at, like saying, like, my mom forces me to do it. Like, we are go getting forced to do it. That's not true. My mom genuinely just wants us to, like, have a start in life. That's why she always encourages us to keep going with it. Because, honestly, right now, I have, like, a good future in this. Like, if I keep growing it... <laughs> Just that Cooper sees one thing. They both. Kami, 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 I know that. Come here, come here. Kami, Melaki, baby. Melaki, baby. Come here, sit down, baby. Okay, good girl. Babe. Okay, guys. <laughs> Kiara. Okay, so yeah, my parents don't force me. You know, a lot of time I say to them, when we, we see each other that we are tired, I say, we can done this. I can come back to my old works. I still can do another job or whatever because sometimes I feel tired too because even if they film the videos, I'm the one that has a time, you know, with all the schedule. Yeah. But, the and, thing, but the thing is, like, seeing how this is, and then when my mom were actually like worked, she worked as a CNA, Literally, I never saw my mom. Literally never. Maybe an hour or two. Because we literally had to stay at my grandma's house. So she could take us to school. Because my mom would work nights and then until like the morning. And we would already be at school. And then we would be at school all day. So like 4 o'clock. And then she would go off to work again. So like literally, I never saw my mom. And my dad also worked. Didn't really see him either. And it was just like a lot. So I would, that's like what I think about every time I want to quit and stuff. And thinking about how like everything we have now, like trust me, we would not have all of this without you guys, which yes. I appreciate you guys so much because we weren't bad, but we were, yeah. we weren't like this. Like, like we used like to, like we are right now. Yeah, we weren't terrible. We still had a home, we still had food, but we couldn't go on like trips that much. We couldn't do yeah. all of that extra stuff, you know? And I really appreciate you guys for supporting us throughout all of our years, the mm -hmm. ones who stayed here for a while. And if you're new, thank you so much. 
but that's what I keep in mind every time I'm like, this is draining, I just want to stop, all this. I'm just thinking about, first, my future. Second, how my mom would literally have to go back to work and I would never see her. And I don't I don't know how I would feel about that. And because like, you want don't work for other people. Yeah, like you, you that's realize another thing. that. That's another thing. A lot of people are asking me why I started a job anyways. It's because I wanted to see for myself, like how it is working for somebody, being on somebody else's time schedule, not being on my own, which is filming a video before Sunday, vlogging every day, filming a couple TikToks. There or if she there. wants to go to on vacation with a friend, four days. She know if she vlog or do, she can go, but she doesn't have to ask no one. Yeah, I could do it myself. And then like say I had work, I have to call off before. Oh no, you can't do that. Like I know this is bad, but I hate when people tell me what I can't do. Like it's not, it's not in a mean way. It's just like, I want to be independent. I want to have like, it's just showing me a lot. That's why I did the job. And it did show me a lot actually. And I learned a lot from it as well. And it wasn't as bad as another oh, job. Oh, no, 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 no. yeah. This job was so chill. Compared, compared to imagine. other jobs, mm -hmm. like City's job and stuff, like she actually has to, like, it's, yeah. it's so much different. But, like, again, I, I've never worked in my life. And that was my first time actually having a job. And, you know, and I still, like, stuck with the rules of, like, a normal job, put my two weeks in, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's definitely, it's a blessing. And a disguise as well, I guess you could say. There's a lot of pros and cons. Yeah, to because it. okay, we bless for you guys, but we also work hard. Monday to Sunday. Sunday. It's like every she day. She knows that I'm in that office literally all the time. All the time. But I would rather her be here sitting at that chair than sitting at somebody else's chair taking care of But I love this job too, but it's drained sometimes. Sometimes I feel sick. Like yesterday morning, I was so sick, like I couldn't walk down the stair, and I say, but I need to do this. It, that's my job. It's like a, I have to go to take care in the nursing home someone, you know what I mean? But the difference is when you grab the camera, you have to be with energy, or and you know, sometimes you just and don't you don't feel have, it. You yeah. don't feel it. But that's why we try to film as much as real that we are, because when I cry in the camera, because when I don't feel good, when we sat, we show because that's our reality. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, she only cries on camera, all this stuff. No, I'm like, no. I'm just showing you, like, I don't want to fake anything on this, like, thing. I honestly see, like, some YouTubers and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, they're all like... As I was saying, like, I see YouTubers and stuff, like, all happy and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had their life, but that's not how it really is. Like, they're... <laughs> like portraying something that's not real that's not a bad thing i mean like obviously you don't want to show the bad side yeah. and stuff but it's just like anything you see on the internet is really not real yeah don't think life is perfect everyone has problems does your mom ever get mad at you when you go out with your friends or boys not really but depends how the weeks goes if she does what she has to do i never say no to something because if she has to work like seti go to a job she has a schedule she has to do seti sometimes if she wants to go to the beach no i don't know how to say that word to some place i had sunday afternoon go have fun she can because she has to do what she has to do and if she does whatever she has to do i don't mind she go with boys she know i trust in her yeah I don't mind. Is Kaylee going to college? As of right now, that is not my plan. I mean, I'm still going to graduate high school and stuff because if I do end up wanting to go to like my community college or something, I still have that diploma. I still have the good grades and all that stuff to go if I do decide that is my last option. But my plan, I genuinely do not want to go to school. Um, at this moment, at, that's what she think. At this moment, I think, and I think that's what I'm sticking with because I just, I'm like the type of person, like, genuinely, I cannot stand school. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I hate school, but, like, they could go, like, they don't, like, try to miss school. Like, I just genuinely can't do it. Some School is just not some for some people, and it's really not for me. I, yes, I understand, like, learning something like basic math basic like knowledge you know but like all the extra little classes that you need to take like why like i don't understand but my plan really is when i graduate i'm trying to graduate this year i'm not saying it's it's possible but i'm not gonna say i'm doing it 
but it's possible I'm working on it. So my plan is keeping up, like posting more on YouTube because I'm going to be doing nothing. Posting more on YouTube and TikTok and all that stuff. And then also I might want to actually start cosmetology school. Like, I don't know. Option. Yeah, that's one of my options. Obviously, I'm going to save a lot of money when I'm actually doing this for, like, my living. And then probably invest in stuff. Okay, two more. Things that annoy each other. Ooh. There's that's a long list. There's a long list, but it's hard to pick one. <laughs> probably... When I act a certain way, but I literally get it from her because she acts the same exact way as me and she gets mad at me for it. I'm like, mom, you're literally the same exact way. So I say next time we do that, we both just be quiet. Let us do our little thing <laughs> and just shh. I saw this thing. It's like when me and my boyfriend are arguing, so we just put party hats on and it's harder to argue because you look stupid. We need that's to do that. Right. That's good. Oh, we should do, we should have that. We need to do that. Well, the things that make me most mad about her is that I see a lot of potential on her. I wish she can have like, how you say, the courage to do the things without thinking what other people think about her or whatever because she has a lot of potential and I hate, well, I dislike, I don't supposed to say hate, that hate is a bad word, like a, a strong word. I dislike that she doesn't want to try, at least try, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get scared. And I wish I can think no, that I, way. I see the potential. I mean, I think I'm pretty, like, athletic. Mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty athletic. I may not be the best, but I could definitely do stuff. Love it. She's so strong. Her uncle, Rafa, not the, the one that lives here, Alison's dad, said, because when we play volleyball in some place, when we play basketball, when we play anything, when we are on vacation, she's tough. I dislike that she's wasting you know, time to show her potential and do stuff. And she is doing good now, but she can do better. You know what I mean? If she has a plan, if she do her to-do list and, and try things, like she doesn't like um, prom, no, how was the other one? Hong Kong. She was a scared of Hong Kong. Last Hong Kong, she went and she had fun. Yeah. But she, she knew that she can have fun because she tried. That's my point. Try. If you don't like it, okay. But at least you can say, it when you are 40, oh, I wish I can try that. No, I did it and I didn't like it. The next and last question is, was your mom mad about the boys who hurt you? Uh, yes, it's hard. Because... Both of them, I treated like... <laughs> Next question. Yeah. We're going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Don't cry. <laughs> what the heck?